everybody welcome back to my channel you're like wait a second is this a new video an old video it's a new video yes i had more to show you i just didn't want to take all night in case you didn't feel like like dropping through segments in a really long video where i talk really fast because that means i'm not giving you the right information and i don't want to leave anything important out so in my other part of my sephora haul yay um i did it again caught myself you know what i said if you do put it down in the comments catch me heckle me about it come on I can't be saying that. That's not a Toastmaster uh, word. No one wants to hear ums and uhs and ands when they're speaking professionally. And it's really difficult enough speaking professionally. All right. So I'm pretending that I'm in front of like, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Oh, I might be. <laughs> Who knows? But tonight I just wanted to bring you a few more products that are just fabulous <laughs> fabulous 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 and um i don't want you to miss out another day on them i had done this and was having audio problems and had to redo the whole video over again but that's okay it'll give me more opportunity to give you more details and i'm really excited to show you some fabulous items that i found i have very dry skin i do have a little like i'm on retinol retinols prescription so you gotta be real careful with those um as to what you do put on your skin and they are very drying to begin with and anybody's skin and which and you have to put sunblock on which i recommend a thousand percent i learned that late in life even though i tan i won't tan my face anymore so I learned my lesson and in my journey <sighs> of foundations and primers, I have looked for many, 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 many remedies for putting my foundation on or my even primer, no makeup days. Um, of course, we have our concealer, no makeup days, and looking to get my skin to give that dewy look. I mean, I have MAC here right now. I'm holding bronze light, which is really nice for the summer, but it doesn't make me shine. I want to be seen from space, <laughs> okay? I have my gold fix-it. Um, I have my iconic London. I mean, these are good good products anastasia 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 beverly hills the dewy set do we all remember that one i mean it smells delicious and it does do a bit of dewiness but i mean i'm not looking for a bit of dewiness i'm looking for a lot of dewiness and there is nothing on my skin i actually did like I said before, that, and this, of course, Wet n Wild, I, the, it's empty, but Wet n Wild started to bring it, and still bringing it, so there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my only option, thank you, but there were times where it was, and it worked just fine, but it really, I want to show you what I used also to dry my skin out. CeraVe came out with two moistur moisturizing uh, cleansers. I keep it real basic with my skin routine. But this one, claim to fame, is it takes off makeup. And it was the newer, now they dropped about 200 more. And I'm thinking, ugh, how am I going to come up with a video on that? But uh, their original hydrating facial cleanser, as opposed to this one that takes off makeup, is... To some people, not cleansing enough, but oh, does it feel good and moisturizing. And they both have ceramides, but this does have its ability to take off makeup, but it makes me feel stripped 
and dry. And that's where I'm at for this video, but I did it on purpose because I was walking around the store looking to see what was new and exciting and oh, this popped up. Okay. Uh, it, I hope it's not backwards on your screen, but it's a Rare Beauties 4-in-1 um, and it's totally like speaks my language. Always an optimist 4-in-1. It is, let's just explain, because 4-in-1, you're like, 4-in-1. Um, it's an ultra-fine glow-boosting mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes the skin. They all say that, but yet MAC is not a makeup setter. It doesn't set the makeup. They admit that after the fact. It's, but it is a, brings out the the wonderful colors, and you know we all have that, you know those colors that won't behave. So we we wet our brushes, and it brings the colors out, and it really does have a nice sheen on our skin. I'm not gonna say it doesn't, but not to the level. Of Mac. Mac is not the least expensive on the market. Also, it is best for oily to, co to combo skin. So it isn't even like claiming to fame for just dry skin. And I have really dry skin. It's light coverage. It's liquid formula. It's radiant finish. And I'm sorry, yes, this is a side that hasn't been done yet. So I'll do that. <laughs> radiant finish um vegan and without parabens but excitingly it has oh triglycerides glycerin um niacinamide it also has i'm getting lost in all these delicious ingredients squalene which is known to be an amazing moisturizer um beautiful products uh, let's see what we have. Okay, the first one is water, and that is always the most prominent. As you go down an ingredient list, the first things are what you have the most of, and as you go down, there's less and less of that in the formulation. Um, it has, uh, wow, it's sodium hyaluronate, gardenia, Florida fruit extract, uh, flower extract, um, so much citric acid, which is brightening. Uh, I mean, I can't, if I had all day, um, reach every skin positive niacinamide is very calming on the skin. It can block free radicals. It gives us that extra protection. So if we forget our, our sunblock we have a little extra coverage squalene i mean come on these were high highly raved about highly talked about ingredients when it was like makeup took a little breath and skincare became the focus of many of our videos so not only is it a boosting glowing mist that primes sets glow gives us that dewy finish and is going to bring out anything underneath it which I plan on showing you in a moment um it also you could put it on on dry skin in a brush out the door and you're gonna have trouble driving and stuff because it comes in what looks like very nice recyclable packaging and it is um 85 milliliters let me tell you, it retailed at Sephora Kohl's, Kohl's Sephora. I don't know how to say that in the right order, but it retails for $27. So $27, that gives us quite a beautiful aesthetic. Little light pink moment at the top, very clean, very natural, rare beauty. Thank you, Selena Gomez. Shake it up. And, oh my goodness, it has this very light, lightly fragrant scent that brings me back to going to the spa, getting my 
like uh, my skin looked after and it's been a while sadly I'm sorry skin but you can only do what you can do any of us I mean I don't know if you can see the difference I and mean, this is the untouched side I just put a few pumps on this side and I'm already like shining like I put a highlighter on or something now imagine if I had my foundation or my sunblock my tinted sunblock or whatever sunscreen underneath um it is amazing and this is with no moisturizer on my skin which is practically unheard of in my world i hope we're all at least putting moisturizer and that extra step that we got to get used to is the you know the, t the sunscreen be it tinted be it clear whatever makes you happy but please put the sunscreen on because you don't want to lose this one beautiful face that we're all born with and I don't have it on the other side. I'm so tempted. I want to. But I found another fabulous product that I really would love to talk about very quickly. And then I'll spray it on top. I oh, am holding one size um, blush trio. Um, it is called Star Patrick Star Cheek Clapper 3D blush trio i'm just tongue-tied tonight i don't know what that's about probably because i'm trying to get these videos done and out to you guys so you can decide on what to spend and what not to all right and i like this i'm sorry this is a little dollar store cup that says good things will happen they have some great cute little things there and i just like the saying on it so i couldn't walk away from it I guess I'm thirsty. It's hot under these lights. <laughs> but anyhow, so this one size cheek clapper, it looks large. I have very small hands. Um, I had it up against, in my last video, I put it up against my travel case, which I, my bare minimum makeup, eyeliner, things that quick, quick, quick. Um, my bronzer, it fit nicely in there with room to spare. It is very luxurious. I mean, the aesthetic alone is very pleasing and really easy to open, even if you have nails. Thank you for thinking about that, Patrick Star. And I will say, we live in the world where now everybody is into different things. You can even see it shimmering in the light. I was shook when I put this on. I'm just going to swatch it with my fingers because it's just, you can because you can in this day and age. Now there's nothing on my skin other than, I didn't even prime it. So this is very dry, very boring skin. And then very creamy, cream to powder. It's just that glow from within. And if you are going out on the town, you can build it up to the heavens. This is a cream formula on top and this beautiful I haven't even taken it off but this beautiful mirror it stays up which is also really handy we all know that and that is just the cream blush so if you're working with creams it's gonna work if you're working with powders it's gonna work if you're working with creams and want to set it with powder it's going to work and they have um I want to say five different shade ranges I mean, I really think they really thought this through. Let me show you the powder. I mean, I, I just kept it simple with my blush. I'm not usually easily impressed with my blush. And if I'm gonna spend a penny on it, it better be good. Because I was just fine with my Wet n Wild and or um, Sephora brand, but this is just, I couldn't walk past it. Now we have the little second one. I'll put it underneath. Look at that. One swipe. And of course, being blush, it's going to blend out. I don't have any foundation, any primer. I did not spray the side of my face. So you can see a slight variation, but if you want to top the cream, you can. You can just use your regular blush brush 
or even your fingers and blend this out or you can build it up if you're going out on the town and you want it to be really boom you know what could i say and then if that's not enough patrick star thought of it all i don't know if i should be using this i'm thinking highlight um it's not as obvious because of the way i did it i'm sorry let me shake my face around make funny faces at you guys but it's gorgeous it it's sh shimmer it's almost like translucent and yet wet looking which i could see using as an eyeshadow any which of these truthfully but look at that that's gorgeous and if you top it over you know its other components it's gonna pop even further i mean really you can't go wrong with this i don't see any need for any other kind of blush i mean truly i'm set and if i don't want to use this as blush i can use it as eyeshadow i can use it as highlight i could even use it as lip gloss how cool is that so ladies let's get creative with our makeup it's all about the fun and that's lip gloss with patrick star's cheek clapper and it's beautiful and it will work with any medium you have it works on all parts of the face and i haven't done a thing to make it really stand out and be its best self it's not on top of any primer any foundation any skin tint and now here's a really fun for me i love doing this i'm sorry i am a dewy girl and love the dew love the shine love the shimmer let's see what happens because i don't know i really haven't played with this yeah i mean come on let me just give you a moment here to as they say let's like you know dry this out i think i need the mini fan like everybody else is using but i see their reason i mean shouldn't have to do this but i'm old school and i mean look at the color payoff for one swipe one of my tiny little fingers i am the size of your average 13 year old girl um so my cheeks are in he heaven pink heaven my lips are in pink heaven and if i wanted to my eyes let's do it why not we're here uh those of us looking for that wet look I'm not even going to use the cream for the. I'm going to see if this does what this does on our eyes. Ooh, I can see using this as a topper, an eyeshadow topper for that shiny moment. You know, we do a halo eye. That's nice. That's beautiful. Without any primer or anything, one little swatch. I don't even want to do a whole swatch with the cream because I feel like it's going to boom, smother me. But that's really pretty from with a nice natural glow from within moment and yet i didn't i still have plenty on my fingers so patrick star you are a genius if you could get me of all people to buy this uh like i said i believe 27 dollars at cole sephora and you're gonna be getting let me see other than the top of my head my laptop is broken and my son kindly gave me his he's a doll he's been present for a few of my wear tests that i couldn't do myself and um he knows that makeup is expression so again it's a monochromatic blush trio versatile textures for blurring 3d blush effect i will say i do see the blur when i put it on i'm sorry if i don't have the most um you know up-to-date viewing uh recording equipment going on right now i'm working on that but this is an iphone okay and, and you can see it come on tell me you can't see it on my eyes on my lips on my my cheeks and i mean that's one little swipe so please go gently this is going to last quite 
a long time. I just want to see. It has a 12-month um, longe longe I can't speak. Lifetime. Okay, we're going to go with that. And <laughs> it is just beyond. Um, here we go. Cream blush, 4 grams of net weight. And powder, you have two 3.5 net grams of makeup in this palette. So you are set to whomever buys this. You're going to be set for quite some time. It has, let's see, I believe I thought I, I don't want to say it too loud. I know that it's in both Sephora's, the ones that are in Kohl's, as well as the main Sephora. It also has its own website and oh, I'm sorry, $38 on the website. Let me just double check what I'm looking at to make sure that I am not misinforming you. Nope, okay, $38. If I said the price wrong in the beginning of this, I am sorry. I'm not sure if I went there yet. I was just so like enamored with the color payoff and the many many ways you can use this $38 it's up to you it's blush but it's also a topper for your lip gloss it could be lip gloss it's cream it's powder it's highlighter it could be a nice topper for your um for your eyes for your you know any of your palettes and you could be working with just creams you could you can mix it up you can layer it and it could be that every day on the go or it could be out on the town hands down you are going to stand out if you wear this blush and everyone's going to be like "Ooh, what is that what are you wearing so needless to say you got me and from coming from Wet n Wild and Sephora brand and not wanting to spend an arm and a leg on blush, this is not just blush. This is a little bit of everything. The sky's the limit and that's what's so fun about makeup is it's about self-expression. It's about experimenting. It's about fun and there's no real wrong way to make, to use it just technique usually on the outer um, applications of if you're looking for a spotlight a halo a natural eye and sometimes the fingers are just the best way to do even that so you don't have to go for an arm and a leg in brushes but I will say they have their moment in beauty as well always will and that my friends other than a product we all know, probably all love, um, and I will always like be grateful for because I'm building up my collection, but I had it out in my other video and it's hiding on me. We have our, um, our Urban Decay. Uh, I personally use their liquid potion as my primer. When I do my eyes, oldie but a goodie. They came out with some more heavy metal collection colors and eyeliners, which I have gremlins. They're trying to like make off with it. And I will hunt those gremlins down and make them give it up because I have this beautiful blue under my eye. I made it very muted because I really wanted you to see the other products, but Ugh, ugh, look at this color. I'm gonna swatch it for you. And this is color Stage Dive. And I have the other and it's hiding. Probably because I'm on film right now. And you can all see the glamour, the glitz. Stila used to be the only game in town on this and people came for them. And I will say Urban Decay did it well and did it in many many colors so we can put them as toppers over 
the eyeliner of our choice because they have so many creamy, delicious, colorful, excellent color payoff. Of course, it's going to make me look on like while I'm being recorded, but I'm not doing this video over again um, because I've done it at least twice and my recording, the audio wasn't behaving and I wasn't going to torture you guys with that. I've tortured you with enough of my comments. I found it, by the way. Okay, so this is in the color Deep End. And look at the, the packaging. I mean, it's it's glamorous. It's the 24-7. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's creamy, buttery. It gives us, let's see. It's gonna give us, drum roll, please. I usually keep this out, like everything up. I'm learning as I go and I will improve for you guys. Uh, creamy cushiony pencils have the glide on yet, yet deliver long wear waterproof and in a dizzying array of shades. I didn't even know this was waterproof. Ooh. Okay, I guess I should have done my homework, but when I see Urban Decay, I just know that I'm getting quality. 24-month lifetime. I mean, this could last you decades, especially if you have more than one color. But I mean, like, I put very little on before because I wanted to do mascara, but putting it right in my waterline give you an idea of what it looks like on the eye. I mean, it's beautiful. It's not overpowering unless you want to. I just went on the inside waterline. Now I went a little bit above because my video is not giving you the full T on this. Let me just give you a, a quickie wing. Like really no technique here. Right on top of that blush. But look at that. I mean like Halloween, the holidays every day high school middle school if your parents let you at home playtime and again these pencils are so delicious and buttery and yet they don't they don't go anywhere they unless you want to move them they're not going anywhere so urban decay you rock and their price point is a little pricey, but you're getting such quality, so many varieties of colors. And then if you put a top, their own toppers on top, you're gonna get a whole nother look. I mean, you could even top your mess, your, uh, your shadows with these. And now you have like a whole nother type of um, color story here. I mean, how can you go wrong with this? This is without, this is with, right on top, on deep dive. I mean, what's better than that? I feel spoiled. I am spoiled, but trying to keep you guys from having these faux pas where you buy something, you think I'm getting a great deal on it, and you go home and you want to cry. We've all had those moments, and it took not everybody can hop right back over to the store. A lot of us save our money for these drops and we want to get the best that we can for the money that we have. That being said, I want to give you an accurate, an absolute accurate dollar amount, $25 for the lip, I mean for the pencil. Now, did I say lip? Yeah, I said lip because pink is one of the colors that they have and you can absolutely use it as a lip liner as well as an eyeliner. You can use it under mascara, uh, mascara. Oh, I'm still on the mascara. You can still use it as well under your palettes, under your blues. I have an Urban Decay palette that I'm excited to see if it literally you put, it's a little trick you put the color that you want and then you put the powder over top and it it explodes if you're not getting the color payoff using your setting sprays 
or whatever you have to use to wet that powder and you're still not getting it and the finger is not working, you know, many gl glittery palettes have like where you can scoop it right with your finger and that's the best way to apply it. But if it's not working, you can take an eyeliner underneath and then you can really brighten the color. And I will say my Game of Thrones palette it needed a little help and that's when I learned that trick about the eyeliners underneath and was thinking to myself where am I going to find an eyeliner in this color well Urban Decay has just about every color in the rainbow and you can't really go wrong with it it can be a lip liner it can be an under the palette color booster it can be your eyeliner and it's waterproof it's vegan cruelty free i believe and all of the wonderful things that we would expect from such a high-end company that's been around and they're coming back for more they've just dropped some new colors so i do suggest and want you to know that they came out with quite a few separate colors that they have not had out on the market prior to this so go take a look either at their web on their website or at your nearest sephora i'm pretty sure ulta has these as well but i am not a thousand percent so you might it's my job to research it but sorry i didn't get to do that one yet i have a ton more to show you but the rest is as they say for another day. I'll try to get this stuff out to you so that you can have the most information and know where to find these things and know what to expect as far as price point, quality, and um, even location. I hope this was helpful and I really look forward to hearing from you guys. Type some comments down below. Maybe hit that subscribe button. Maybe give me a like for being a guinea pig for you guys because I don't mind it at all and um, thank you for tuning in again and giving me the chance to improve it's a journey if we all came out the box knowing how to do it everyone would do it so I've been practicing with makeup for years and it's time for me to bring that practice to you all right I hope everyone's having a fabulous fabulous day evening morning afternoon week weekend all of it you deserve it are you guys looking up at those clouds or those silver linings they are there if you look for them and sometimes it's playing with makeup we already even have that just gives us a little uh -uh in our step oh and i did promise you guys a little caveat i will be now reviewing Dun, da, da, da. I haven't heard of this done and let me know if you've heard of this done but oh it's messy I'm not going to take it out of my container but I go to the tanning salon I do not tan my face I block my face but I tried my Tangle uh, South Shore um, Snooky by Nicole Pelosi we all know Snooky and I have to say, it's hot and spicy. It's given me, this was the same tanning session. I had like this red stripe up this arm. And this is my normal arm with black chocolate addiction, lotion, bronze, um, beyond bliss, 200 times the color crave, marshmallow, soft, silicone bronzer, brown sugar honestly i'm getting a bottle of this and this i was curious it does say it tingles so i do recommend spot testing the tingle but um this gives you about 60 percent better tan indoor or outdoor so that's really nice and convenient and sometimes i miss it mix it miss it mix it <laughs> with my aussie I mean, Aussie has been around forever and they're fabulous boosters and um, tan, you know, 
exaggerators i can't think right now i'm getting delirious and now we have these tingles which are also to take your tan to the next level and you will get red and i hear some people find it like a real tingly almost like a little bit burny it's kind of like a lip plumper honestly i don't feel it like that but i walked out and i saw exactly where i put it and i was like wow that's gonna tan nicely i have to get a burn usually or build my tan up steadily and slowly or i'm practically see-through so um i'm gonna bring you why not i've been testing them out all summer and i'll give you reviews on those as well because the bottles are an investment and not everyone has a tanning salon that gives you a special day i am blessed to have an electric paradise near me and they have certain days where if you buy a sample of their tanning um different tanning lotions as well as the tingle i can get a tan at any level for five dollars or ten dollars and i don't use any tans in my plan so and they also i will say will not use your like you know how end of year your your package is only good for a certain amount of time well I'm still using my first package because if you go on their special days, Electric Paradise uh, near you, it's worth looking up. They will not use your tans. You just have to spend the $5 on one day or they have a $10 day as well. And you can try a new tanning lotion every time you go or stick with your favorites. It's great. You can't go wrong with that. And this way, if you can't get to the tanning salon constantly, but you really want a package and you don't want to waste your money, it's definitely worth asking at anyone nearby you, but I have never seen a tanning salon that has allowed for someone to keep a tan package for years and not like said all right sorry that's enough it's been years you have to finish using your package or you lose your money so shout out to electric paradise i look forward to seeing you guys i look forward to getting bronze again i look forward to trying out new products and i have a big review on shiny um on their own um highly recommended by sephora and others i don't dare say but shiny foundations because we're coming into winter and i'm sure i'm gonna need some old school foundation and i want to i have my mac over there but i want to try some new formulations i want things that are good for this face i want to see what we have on this brand new world of skincare meets makeup meets anything on the face you can do with it i want to try that i mean how many of us want one product that can do a million things right here so i'm going to try to bring those to you and everything along the way and you you make your own decisions you decide what's best for you i don't know what you already have i don't know what you're looking for but i can only bring you my honest opinions and show off what i have found in my search for the perfect makeup tanning lotions cleansers i mean lush has been fabulous i'm excited to see some of their new formulations which don't forget they did new formulations after the new year so lush is a fabulous cruelty-free vegan and highly natural uh store and you can often find them in the malls not thousand percent i believe one of our fake for influencers did a review but i missed it so i'll be bringing you more of lush all right again 39 minutes of your life now have has been taken while you're listening and watching and hoping i'm going to show you something that you like i hope i did i hope this helped 
and I hope it gave you some ideas on how to use things in different ways because this way maybe we can meet a one-size-fits-all for everyone and um, I look forward to hearing from you guys if there's anything you want reviewed please put it down in the comments I will respond to your comments and thank you for those that have commented you know who you are I do remember responding and I promise to respond more as you guys send me comments because they are very much appreciated even if you haven't hit the subscribe or the like you sent me a comment you gave me a view I appreciate it I appreciate you and you are my silver lining and one day we'll get down to what happened to make me discover makeup and how makeup saved my life it really did um more on that on my next video have a great night afternoon evening weekend month year i just want everyone to be happy in this world life is way too short on that note no more talking go play